It was the Age of Enlightenment, when men like John Locke, Voltaire, and Benjamin Franklin began to turn away from religious-centric views of the world and nature and began to look towards science. Through the shared interests of this community, an intellectual network was born, the Republic of Letters, in which these scholars from this Enlightenment movement shared ideas and correspondence with one another across vast distances, oftentimes separated by the Atlantic Ocean. One of the greatest digital projects to come out of the past 10 years is without a doubt the mapping of the Republic of Letters, or the mapping of this social and intellectual network that existed in the 17th and 18th centuries. The mapping of the Republic of Letters is based out of Stanford in the United States, but has partners across the world. The project was founded in around 2013 when they secured funding from the National Endowment for the Humanities, or the NEH. The project's website allows for you to search for different smaller projects that make up the mapping of the Republic of Letters, so you can look at individuals and salons and places across time and space and map out the intellectual networks that constituted the Republic of Letters. Under publications, you can see existing case studies and how they've been published in traditional form, but more importantly, you can also see existing projects. Each project is headed by a different member of the Mapping of the Republic of Letters team, and each project has a different object in mind and a different subject that it explores. Here we are seeing the mapping of the Republic of Letters with regard to Benjamin Franklin, and you can see that this particular tool is built upon Gephi, while other existing projects are also built on other existing tools, notably Palladio, which also comes out of Stanford. One of the greatest contributions of the mapping of the Republic of Letters is that it allows for scholars to see how intellectuals from the 17th and 18th centuries communicated with one another across time and space. In other words, it allows for us to visually represent a very complex network that is constituted by a large amount of data. This is the power of the mapping of the Republic of Letters, and this is the power of data visualization. I highly encourage you to spend a few minutes at least on this website and explore the methods and the history of how this project came into existence. Look at the data visualization methods and spend time playing around with them. Get to know the tools behind the methods and map the Republic of Letters. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe down below.